What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Lumion tutorial for you. So yesterday I put out a video showing you how to create mass moving traffic inside a Lumion rendering. Today I wanted to talk about how to replace buildings inside of Lumion with textured models from SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I did a video a while ago talking about how to bring in all of these buildings using OpenStreetMap and I just noticed the water material is actually in here as water, so that's actually pretty cool. Um, sorry. Um, so what we talked about is bringing these buildings in using OpenStreetMap data. And so by doing this, you can populate things like roads and buildings and things like that, which is great. And you can create a lot of cool diagrams and other things, but sometimes you want this to be a little bit more photorealistic or at least realistic, if not photorealistic. And so what I wanted to talk about in this video is showing you a way to bring in models from SketchUp and replace the OpenStreetMap buildings. So the first thing we're going to do in order to do this this is you need to go ahead and bring your city in and uh, I will link to a tutorial about how to do that. Once you've done that, then we're going to go into the landscape settings and we're going to click this button for open street map. When we do that, there's going to be a little pencil here for edit. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the little pencil and what that's going to allow me to do is that's going to allow me to make some changes to the open street map data that we have in here. And I'm back and forth on if I like bringing this in this way or if I like using an extension like Placemaker in SketchUp. Now obviously that's a paid extension, but I think I'm going to talk about that anyway because that allows you to bring in buildings with terrain and stuff like that. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to do this. So you'll notice when you're in here inside of Lumion and uh, you, you have several different options in here for changing appearances, moving things, as well as hiding buildings. That's the one we want to focus on is the little eyeball right here. So we want to click on that to hide buildings. And you'll notice when you have the hide buildings function um, selected in here, if you mouse over the different buildings that come in from OpenStreetMap, you can actually click on these. And when you do that, they're going to turn red. And so one thing I don't really like about this is this seems to come in as a whole bunch of different little parts and pieces. But basically what this is allowing us to do is this is allowing us to click on objects. And when we click on objects, they're going to get hidden. So if they're red in here, so any of this OpenStreetMap building data that's brought in, if it's red and we click on it and then we click the little checkbox, it's going to get hidden in here. And I really wish the mechanical equipment on the roof wasn't in here as individual items. We're probably going to cheat on that just a little bit because I don't really feel like clicking on every single one of these. But there are some in here that I need to go ahead and click on. And you may notice some of these are actually inside of this, uh, this model. So it doesn't necessarily get brought in as the clean geometry that you might necessarily want so you may have to fly into your model to get to some of these but basically we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna click on some of the items like this piece right here if I can figure out how to get to it you get some weird Z fighting in here obviously um, we'll see if that did it but basically we're just gonna come in here we're just gonna hide these items that are in here where your building is. And I'm just going to hide enough that you can't see these from the street, really. That's about all I'm going to do. And I'll get a couple more of these really quick. Good enough. We're going to go ahead and click the checkbox. And so that's now hidden. And now even though our other open street map data is in here, that particular building is no longer shown. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into SketchUp. And inside of SketchUp, what we're going to do is we're going to download the actual 3D model from the 3D warehouse of that Colorado Convention Center. So if I go in here and I click on this, I go to the 3D warehouse and I click Get Models, you can search for the Colorado Convention Center by Camelot and you can bring that in. And that's not a super complex model. Um, go ahead and click the download button and click Yes. That's going to download that into your model. That's not going to be a super complex model. It's just kind of, uh, it's used, basically they use some of the old tools that were available for kind of photo matching this building. But you can see how it's a much more detailed model than the box that we had in there before. And so what we're going to do is we're going to bring this into Lumion. And the one thing we want to do before we do that in SketchUp is we want to double click inside this model and we want to right click and we want to hide the flat image that was down here. So we want to make sure that image is hidden. And then once we do that, we can export this to Lumion using LiveSync. 
And so if you remember, Live Sync is the live link between SketchUp and Lumion. And so what I'm gonna do is that's an extension that you install, and I will link to my video about that. But basically, you just wanna go in here and you want to click the button for Start Live Sync, or you can right click in your uh, menu bar here and turn on the Lumion Live Sync toolbar and click this play button. And it's gonna ask you to save your project before you do that. And we'll go back in here and we'll click the play button again. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna drop this into our currently open model. So if I click on Lumion, like that, you can see how it dropped that building into Lumion. And the axes aren't um, in here quite right, so we're gonna have to move that around. The one thing I might do if I were you is I would click in here and I would turn off camera synchronization because you don't want Lumion trying to figure out what you're doing with your SketchUp camera um, while you're working in here. It just really slows everything down. You don't necessarily want that. And so what we're gonna do now is that actually got brought in as its own model. So we're gonna go back to the objects section and we're just gonna select it and we're gonna use the move free tool. And all we're gonna do when we do that, and I'm going to move my camera up before I do this, but all we're gonna do is we're just gonna click this button and we're just gonna drag this building over and we're gonna place it where the old OpenStreetMap building was. And you can kind of see from the aerial view where this would go. Um, you kind of need to look at kind of where the curves are in here. And you can see how this is kind of jumping around a little bit. If you hold the shift key, it'll stop jumping around mostly. And so we're just gonna bring this building in and we're just gonna place this about where it seems like it would go in real life. So you can actually use the rooftop mechanical units in this case as kind of a guide for where this should line up. But you can see how what this did is now the open street map data is turned off, but this building itself with the actual textures on it is turned on. And so you can see how now inside your rendering, this building looks a lot more realistic. And one thing I might consider um, is I might consider trying to find this fire station in here as well. Um, we'll see if that's in the 3D warehouse real quick. It actually is. So a lot of downtown Denver, for example, has been modeled previously. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click the download button. And I'm thinking, uh, maybe not. I was hoping this would bring this model in actually in the right location geographically, but it didn't. But if you remember, this is live linked inside of Lumion. So whatever changes I make here will also show up in the Lumion model itself. So what I'm gonna do is if you remember, we came in here and we hid that map data. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unhide that. Then I'm gonna find my fire station model. And I'm gonna move that inside of SketchUp until the fire station model lines up with that map data that was brought in as a part of the convention center. And so now, if I double click inside each one of these and I hide the map data for each one, and you may have to unlock the map data depending on how it's been modeled, but if you hide all that map data, and then you go back into Lumion, I'm interested to see if this worked. This should have live updated this building being in there because I updated it in the SketchUp model. And there it is. So you can see how because I brought that building in inside of SketchUp, um, inside the SketchUp model itself, it also shows up inside of Lumion. So the only other thing I would need to do in this case is just go back to my OpenStreetMap data, click the edit button, and hide this fire station building. And like I said, you may have to kind of fly inside some walls and stuff to get all of it. But once you get all of that turned off, and then you click the check mark, you can see how now I was able to bring in this building, which isn't necessarily photorealistic, but again, a lot better than what we had in there before. I can bring in that building and I have my convention center and I've replaced the open street map data. And then you can go in and render this just like you would normally. So like for example, we just go into photo mode. In this case, we'll just bring in a custom style, maybe like a dawn style or something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a dawn real sky. So like a morning real sky, for example. 
kind of adjust the heading here a little bit so we get a little sunlight coming off of it and if you wanted to you could probably even add a little bit of fog in the background so turn your fog density up just something to give you a little haze in the background but then you could just take this and you could render it just like you would anything else in Lumion And you can see how as this renders out, your textures actually look pretty decent in here. I wouldn't get too close to this, but it's a lot better than the boxy buildings in the background. So really anything that exists in the SketchUp 3D warehouse that you want to bring in, you could use this method in order to bring in. So I think one thing I might do is I might talk about how to bring in this data using Placemaker in SketchUp, but I'd also like to make a video about using aerial photos to help you bring in your different vegetation into something like this. So leave a comment below. Let me know if either of those are interesting to you. If you like this method, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.